there's a period on the last tour where you had to actually leave the tour and come back and look after the kids while your wife was in the hospital. Uh, what did that teach you about family life? What did that teach you about Slipknot? It was the first time in my career that I had to make a decision, uh, my family or the band, and I had to stay home and miss an, a whole European tour, actually not even get on the plane and go with the guys. And that was the hardest thing that I've had to do. It's harder than making a record, coming up with songs, leaving home, coming back home. It was the hardest thing because, you know, I didn't want to make the wrong decision. There was this thing in me always that we have this thing in Slipknot that we always say we don't want to be that guy. And that's why we're always there. That's why we're always on time. That's why we always bring it. That's why we're 10 years with all original members. Um, because you don't want to be that guy. And at that moment, I had been that guy. However, my soul was telling me that no matter what, I was staying home. Um, it was the first time that all my children would have been separated with all these different people while my wife was in the hospital. And I just said, you know, this is a no-brainer. And I kept telling management, everybody, you know, you should expect I'm not going to be able to go on tour. And they're like, well, we'll wait until closer. And I'm like, okay. But when you call me tomorrow, I'm going to let you know I'm not going on tour. I just know that for 10 years, I've been missing birthdays. I've been missing anniversaries. I've been missing funerals. I've been missing weddings. Um, my parents got old before I knew it. Um, best friends have gone. You know, illnesses. Kids get older before you can even figure it out. It's in a tremendous strain on pursuing your own dream you know and it becomes very self-centered and selfish right. you even wonder if you even if it's worth it staying home and then going back out with the band and realizing that that can happen it was just the greatest feeling you know that you can be that guy that you know i am a member in a band and i'm going to continue to be that member and people are going to die and people are going to get sick and things are going to change, and the band has to respect the member as much as the member respects the band. And I think that's been what's been going on for 10 years, is the members respect the band and the fans, and it was time for a little payback. And all my, uh, all my bros uh, stood behind me, and, you know, that's always what I wanted. That's the kind of family I wanted to be in you know, a family that understands, but yet still goes over and kicks the door in the entire world. You know, all infantry men still need to sleep to be able to be killers. I would have to say that the last record cycle really mended me all the way. And it, I didn't get completely healed and drop the eagle all the way to the floor until I had to stay home choose my family over my dream, over my passion. And it was, you know, I got the epiphany and it was, it was just, I became more powerful than I ever thought I could be, you know, because then I could take a deep breath. So it was, it was humbling and empowering at the same time. Very, very humbling to, yeah, yeah, and very empowering to be able to actually turn the phone off and not answer emails and not give inside, but yet go outside and have an iced tea with my kid while maybe he's in a pool or pick my daughter up from school and know right or wrong that I am doing the right thing because that's all we all try to do moment by moment. And I've been doing nothing but Slipknot for 10 years, um, putting my children and my wife and my family and my friends and all that other life second to pursue my dream which was first right. and you know I've obtained the dream and so now it's time to learn how to put it all in perspective and be a real winner. I'm really fortunate that my dream has been able to facilitate my life you know so I need to learn how to make them all work together as one big force that has to be reckoned with and that can't be duplicated. I just have a lot of personal things that I need to take care of to achieve that. You know, I've always struggled with like weight and uh, staying in shape. Um, 
you know, and that leads to overall happiness, you know, like, uh, you know, I don't have a, a lot of overall happiness with myself. So therefore I can't find a lot of power to be in a good mood, maybe with my kids or even my band. So I'm getting close, but there are a lot of pieces, but we all have it. You know, it doesn't matter what job you're in, who you are in the world. We're all doing this and we're all trying to get better. I have real life that I'm so grounded. It's so slow because it's so real. You know, time moves slow with kids and it's so real. And then there's the whole other entity, you know, Slipknot that is just, you know, it's one of those things like, you wouldn't believe it if I told you. And it's really like that every day. I still don't believe it. I can only be the madman that I've been so long. You know, I don't want to be 50 and just have my kids say, well, you just never made time. And you know, they would have every right to say that right. because I was on my selfish pursuit of my own dream, which is something I was born to do and I can't live without doing it. So it's a catch 22, it's a double negative. However, like I told you earlier, I'm looking for the essential tools to be able to have it all. And I feel like I do. This is a reminder that hard work pays off. And the fact that I have this, and now that I can vote on every band that wins, proves that what we are doing is working because 10 years ago, there wasn't a band who could use its thought process to vote the way we're gonna vote on bands that are gonna achieve these. Right. And when you allow us kind of people in, you know, we're going to affect you. And if you're a kid and you want one, you got to be willing to lose it all. And if you are, then uh, if this is important to you, you can have one. But when you do get it, you'll realize that pursuing ambition towards your dream is more important than this ever will be. We are unlike anything in this world. And my dad always said, if you're going to do something in this world, do it with sizzle. And Slipknot is completely on fucking fire. Period.